Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the ultimate Weathers family tree. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> throughout the years of the world of cars, there has been in a family member of the Weathers family tree for many generations. And some of them even raced in the Pissin' Cup, much like Lee Weathers, Strip the King Weathers, and Cal Weathers. Some of the Weathers family members even raced for Dynaco. However, most of them, them bore the Dynaco Blue. Now, the first racer that raced in the Pist Weathers family to race in the Piston Cup was Lee Weathers, who began his racing career in 1949 and had won three Piston Cups in 1954, 1958, and 1959, which were and matched up the same feat with Doc Hudson and Daryl Cartrip. And in, on, and in 1959, he won the inaugural race of the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway. He had a crash during the Florida 500 of the 1961 Piston Cup season and, and was forced to retire after a crash at Glen Ellen Speedway during the 1964 Piston Cup season. And eventually, he raised a son named Strip the King Weathers, who began racing for Team Dynaco and had won seven Piston Cup championships in, in the 70s throughout the two th early 2000s and matched up the same feat as Dale Earnhardt and Lightning McQueen and even married a station wagon named Mrs. Linda the King Weathers and and they even raised a nephew named Cal Weathers who ra also raced for Team Dynaco what with his uncle the King being his crew chief from 2006 up until 2016 which the piston the Weathers family's lease with the Piston Cup had expired. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. First, we're going to start off with Lee Weathers. There's the King's father and Cal's grandfather. So here we've got his chrome grill, his smiling expression, his headlights, and his the Biak logo. No tampos on the hood. And on both sides, we've got the, his door, which has the number 38 and says Greensboro, North Carolina. Even though he originated from Randleman, North Carolina, his black, rim, black, white wall, black walls with the chrome rims. And on top, we've got the number 38 and his name signature saying Lee Weathers. We've got the red taillights and the chrome bumper. Up next is Strip the King Weathers. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his Danico light blue exterior, the white number 43 on his pop-up headlights and the Danico logo on the hood. And on both sides we've got the his door with the white number 43, the Danico logo and the gas cap and the Chrome silver rims on the black wall tires with the Lightyear name signature. Few contingencies logo saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Mood Springs, No Stall, Little Torquey Pistons, Gasprin, Retreading, Easy Idle. Number 43 on the top, no name signature. 43 on the trunk, and the big spoiler. And, we, and on the back we got the Danico logo in the middle. 43 on tail lights and the chrome back bumper. And underneath it says 
Disney Pixar, made in Vietnam, 1970 Plymouth Superbird, which is copyrighted. And up next, we've got Mrs. Linda the King Weathers. So here we've got her blue grill with the Chrysler logo and the, her headlights, which are blue, and the chrome silver front bumper with her mouth on it. No tampons on the hood, just her chrome silver side view mirrors. And on both sides of the lights, we've got her doors and her chrome silver black wall, chrome silver rims on the black wall tires and the silver trimming. And on the top, we've got her luggage suitcase rack, which is silverish gray. And on the back, we've got the red taillights and the chrome silver back bumper and the exhaust pipe and the Chrysler logo on the trunk. And up next, finally, lastly, is their nephew and Lee Weathers' grandson, Cal Weathers. So here we've got his friendly, happy facial expression, his headlights and black grill, and the white number 42 underneath. And on the hood, we've got the Dynaco logo. We've got the, on both sides, we've got the red arrow at the very bottom, indicating a pity to lift him up. The exhaust pipe and the blue rims on the black wall tires with the light year signature on each of them. White number 42 and the Dynaco logo and the light year logo on the front fenders. A few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroid, Octane Gaining, Clutch Shade. And on the top we've got the number 42 and the name signature saying Cal Weathers and the Dynaco logo on the trunk and in and on the back we've got the Dynaco logo in the middle and the black camera and the red taillights and on the back bumper we've got the number 42 now take note the reason why I numbered Lee Weathers here number 38 is because is to avoid any mix-ups with Ducky Fontelroy from Cars 3 who I unfortunately don't have And the number 38 itself is also the number that Lee Weathers' bassist, Lee Petty, who was the father of the King's voice actor, Richard Petty, and the grandfather of Kyle, Cal Weathers' voice actor, Kyle Petty, he had, had bore on the 1948 Biak Roadmaster, another bassist for... Lee Weathers, that which he had borrowed from a neighbor. But what do you got? But other than that, what do you guys think? Which Weathers family member is your favorite? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!